A man arrested in Lancaster County is accused of causing severe facial injuries to a small black cat in his care, including the destruction of its lower jaw. This is 56 year old Richard Swangler. He's charged with a felony count of aggravated cruelty to animals. The injured cat was taken to the emergency center for surgical care and is expected to make a full recovery. It is the latest case in a growing number of reports of animal cruelty right here in central PA. In recent years, lawmakers have tried to create harsher punishments in cases of animal cruelty, but there are still some challenges in enforcing it. CBS 21's Hallie Jacobs spoke to some shelters about what can be done to bridge the gap. I would say partially that has to do with obviously social media. So there's more awareness. People are losing their jobs. They're coming home, which isn't an excuse, but they're coming home mistreating animals. I feel like we're kind of at a spot where we're in an overabundance of animals and there's just nowhere to turn. In November, the Humane Society of Harrisburg rescued 17 Shih Tzu and Shih Tzu mixes from a home in Enola. They were living in horrible conditions with matted fur and covered in feces. But that's just one of many cases we've seen in recent weeks. We want there to be policies and procedures in place where when you do find out about an animal being abused, that you know who you can contact. Because again, I feel like the public doesn't know who to contact in those scenarios. Libra's law, signed into Pennsylvania legislation in 2017, aimed to increase penalties for those committing crimes against animals. However, shelters argue that enforcing it is challenging. So it isn't always you get the person, you know the crime they did, they need a lot of evidence just to even be able to prosecute them. In response to these challenges, Representative Scott Conklin recently introduced House Bill 1981, which would allow counties to hire humane officers. These officers would be able to enforce dog control and animal cruelty provisions, providing a potential solution to the current limitations. As counties get more and more populated, the state, as you know, has not put the resources into many of, the, uh, of these type of facilities, such as humane districts, more officers to go out. Hopefully, if there's more, they can go and they can follow up. They can also follow up on the current laws that we have about tethering um, where the living conditions that animals are in.